best esteemed panel of judges participations, welcome to Miss World Malaysia 2023's Grand Coronation Night. Tonight, we embark on a journey of elegance, purpose, and most importantly, transformation of the girls as we witness the unison of beauty with a purpose. Before we start the ball rolling, let us just introduce ourselves. My name is Alexis Suan. I'm Melissa Lin. And it is truly an honor to be here today with all of you at SICC Sabah for the Grand Correlation Night as your host. Please wait as we join you in just a few. Please welcome our guests of honor, Yang Ama Bohomat Dato Sri Panglima Haji Hajiji Haji Noor, the Chief Minister of Sabah, who is represented by Yang Ama Bohomat Fong Jin Chu, Minister of Industrial Development and Entrepreneurship. Ladies and gentlemen, please rise as we sing our national anthem and the, nation, and the anthem of Sabah.
Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. You may now take your seats. Ladies and gentlemen, we also have the honors tonight in SICC Sabah, we have our reigning Miss World 2022 right at the back, all the way from Poland. Please give it up for Miss Karolina Bulewska. May we invite our guest of honor on stage to give us his welcome address. Good evening. Good evening. Selamat petang. First and foremost, allow me to convey the right honorable Chief Minister, Datu Sri Panglima Haji Hajiji No, warms regrets. He's unable to join you here tonight and has asked me to represent him to read his speech as follows. Good evening. Salam Malaysia Madani dan Salam Sabah Maju Jaya. A very warm welcome to all guests attending this event tonight. Thank you to Hyper Life Entertainment and Fantastic Golden for bringing the Miss World Malaysia 2023 to Kota Kinabalu, Sabah. It gives a people of Sabah immense pride that our state has been chosen as the backdrop of this grand event. Ladies and gentlemen, Sabah is truly a unique place blessed with an abundance of natural resources and beautiful nature. Our rainforest jungles are more than 100 million years old and among the oldest in the world. Perhaps many of you may not know that highest tropical tree in the world, the yellow maranti, is found in the Danum Valley in Sabah's east coast. Standing at 100.8 meter, it is higher than the Statue of Liberty. And in May of this year, we took pride that Sabah is now the proud owner of the UNESCO Triple Crown site, the third in the world to have such distinction with the creation of the Kinabalu National Joe Park as the Kinabalu UNESCO Global Joe Park. Ladies and gentlemen, and all that is only on tourism, Sabah is a land of endless potential sitting strategically in the middle of Southeast Asia. We have the opportunities for investment and growth in other sectors, including agriculture and industrial development. I trust that the state of Miss World Malaysia 2023 in Kota Kimalu, Sabah, will bring attention and focus to our state, which bodes well for us as we push to promote Sabah as a preferred destination for tourism and investments, among others. Tonight, the stage is set and Sabah stands ready to embrace the spotlight. The Miss World Malaysia 2023 Beauty Festival brings with it not just a competition of beauty, but a remarkable chance to cast the spotlight on Sabah, to highlight the jewels of our culture and to extend an open invitation to travellers far and wide. 
to experience the state attractions. With Sabah new tourism destination rebranding of Feel Sabah, North Borneo, we want the world to know that Sabah is situated on Borneo Island, third largest in the world. The punchy tagline will also, will also um, display the fascination of Sabah's historical past. Ladies and gentlemen, beauty pigeons are no longer merely a spectacle of beauty. Beauty pigeons have, has transformed to one with purpose and for positive change. We applaud your efforts to use this platform through your Beauty with a Purpose mission and using this to promote the potential of young minds by encouraging confidence and self-discipline. Beauty with a Purpose aptly describes the capacity of pigeons to go beyond to help the communities in need and we support this empowering journey. It is my pleasure to acknowledge the presence of two distinguished individuals who have graced us with their participation tonight. Mrs. Julia Molly, Chairman and CEO of the Esteem Miss World Organization, and the reigning Miss World 2022, Carolina. We commend your contributions, your role in inspiring positive change and, and your support to Sabah tourism. Mrs. Julia Molly's vision has given birth to the Miss World Beauty with a Purpose mission that has reached out to lives, touches, hearts and creates lasting impacts. Well done. To all the young women gracing the stage as the finalists, know that you are the exemplars of the power that lies within with each of us to make a real difference. Your journey thus far and the path that lies ahead as you protect the charitable initiatives and projects hold the potential to inspire others to follow suit. Our collective efforts translate into the support for those in need. By contributing to this event, you are becoming the agents of transformation. Ladies and gentlemen, the Miss World Malaysia 2023 Beauty Festival aligns with our commitment to uplift our society, especially our young, young people and women. It's an embodiment of empowerment, a stage for showcasing not only beauty but also talents. I urge our young people out there to embrace this journey as self-discovery and empowerment, to recognize the immense power that rests within each of you, and to channel the power for the betterment of our society. With that, I wish all of you an enjoyable evening. Thank you so much. With that, we officiate Miss World Malaysia 2023 in our beloved, beautiful city, Kota Kinabalu. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Yang Berhormat Fong Jin Chu, for your inspiring speech. Ladies and gentlemen, please do give him another round of applause.
presented by Hyperlife Entertainment and Fantastic Golden, co-presented by WSG Group, Air World Travels and Tours, The Glam's Academy and Riga's Premium Saba. This is the Miss World Malaysia 2023 Grand Coronation Night. Presenting to you an enchanting cultural performance by DSAP dancers who will be transporting us into a world of grace and tradition. Thank you so much, these tap dancers. Please do give them another round of applause, please. It's now time to introduce our esteemed panel of judges. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome on stage our first judge, Mr. Edwin Richard, co-founder of the Malaysian Beauty Pageant Fan Club. Up next, we have Miss Janice Wong, founder of D Glam's Academy.
Datuk Sri Nafnet Goenka, founder of Celestials. Malaysian supermodel Amber Chia, model, actress, host, and founder of Amber Chia Academy. Miss World Malaysia 2018, Larissa Ping. Miss World Malaysia 2015, Miss Bryn Lovett. Miss World Malaysia 2008, Dr. Sue Wincy. Last but not least, on closing on our judges, we've got the reigning Miss World Malaysia 2022, Miss Wenanita Anga. Wow, I think, Mel, it's going to be extremely hard for our judges to select one winner and own one winner only tonight. All the girls are equally as amazing, am I right? I mean, Alexis, the judges look amazing, don't you think? Beautiful, every one of them. Very handsome as well, I would say. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I know that we may be speaking a little bit, but I know the most exciting part, and that is to bring out our ladies for tonight. Are you ready? I can't hear you, ladies and gentlemen. Are you ready? Ladies and gentlemen, these are our Miss World Malaysia 2023 finalists in their opening dance. These are finalists of Miss World Malaysia 2023. Ladies and gentlemen, please do give them another round of applause. A huge shout out to our sponsor, Batik Bayu. Don't they look beautiful, Lexus? 
They look absolutely stunning. Honestly, all these beautiful colors. And of course, our national fabric as well. This is truly amazing. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I know you love the girls, but I also know as Malaysians, we love something else. Aramai tea! Aramai tea is one thing, but I'm pretty sure as a Malaysian as a whole, we love makan. We love food. So I'd just like to inform each and every one of you, ladies and gentlemen, dinner is now served. And bon appetit. Are you sure, Alexis, they don't enjoy Aramai tea instead? <laughs> I think they do enjoy that, but I think they do enjoy food just the same. <laughs> Have fun, ladies and gentlemen. Elevating the evening's charm, it's a soul-stirring musical performance by Alika Paujin, presenting on stage, Never Enough, a melody that resonates with the magic of the night.
Once again, please give her another round of applause. Such a beautiful voice, Alexis. Oh my goodness, such a beautiful voice. And uh, possibly, and uh, maybe a future Miss World Malaysia, maybe. <laughs> I mean, uh, I would. <laughs> now, Alexis, I heard that she was wearing beautiful diamonds all around her earrings and like neck. What do you think? I think if you're talking about beautiful jewelry, it's always got to be from Ceres Jewels, of course, right? And I heard that you are wearing Ceres Jewels as well? I mean, yes. So once again, a round of applause for Ceres Jewels. Thank you very much. Now, Alexis, allow me to actually share with you more about the Miss Wall Malaysia. This event that transcends conventional beauty pageants and evolves into a purpose-driven beauty festival. This platform is dedicated to fostering the empowerment of young women while installing valuable societal principles in today's world. Rooted in its profound social mission known as beauty with a purpose, Miss World Malaysia places emphasis not only on aesthetic but also on the profound intention to make a different Alexis. That's right, Malaysia. Yes, here at Miss World, the community, the sisterhood of Miss World, we aim to cultivate compassion, 
empathy, refinement, and of course, elegance. The embodiment of Miss World Malaysia encompasses an individual who possesses an unwavering zeal and commitment to championing impactful charitable causes, both within their local communities as well as on a global scale. This representative will begin an incredible journey, illuminating lives and enacting positive changes. And tonight, only one of them will be crowned as the new Miss World Malaysia 2023. Ladies and gentlemen, are you ready to see the finalists once again on stage? Please make some noise. Oh, Sabah, I think you can do better than this. Are you ready? Let us now welcome our finalists once again on stage, this time in their traditional and cultural wear. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Adeline Jane Andrew, finalist number one, all the way from Salango. In a social context, I am a daughter, a sister, a friend, but most importantly to me, I am an advocate for a range of social issues from mental health to road traffic safety in Malaysia. In a professional context, because that's how we introduce ourselves, I am a freelance host and MC. I also worked in the real estate industry for two years, and I also have a degree and master's in law. And guess what? I'm going to get called to the United Kingdom bar this November. Thank you so much. Music plays a very important role in my life. 
because it always reminds me of memories that I had with my loved ones. Beyond music, my heart is about raising the next generation of leaders, which are the precious children who can influence our future. My heritage is a fusion of Scottish, Irish, Australian, Chinese, and Filipino. This tape tree is a celebration of what happens when we accept our differences and tells the tale of unity through diversity. I am Elisha Michelle from Kota Kinabalu, Sabah, and I'm honored to be a part of Miss World 2023. Thank you. lies beyond the ones that believe and dream. With purpose, my name is Lina Tan from Selangor, Malaysia. And formerly I'm a lawyer, but right now I'm a founder of Mojo More, which transformed, this, which transformed scrap metal into home and living products. Together, we can create a better future. Thank you. My name is Maria Misha. I am your enthusiastic Sarawakian microbiologist currently pursuing my master's. I believe education goes a long way. It should not just be a privilege for a few uh, others in many parts of the world, but it should be inclusive wherever you go. And I believe that like microorganisms, small gestures go a long way. And I believe that microorganisms, although small, they can be powerful. Compassion and small acts of kindness truly go a long way in today's society. Thank you.
from the UNESCO World Heritage Site. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Natalie Ang from Penang. Behind all the glitz and glamour, in our aurora's natural self, we are all human. And I, behind all these layers of makeup, am just a girl with a dream. To empower those that have been dealt the short end of the stick in life, and to be more than I thought I could ever be. Thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for being here on this beautiful evening. It's a pleasure to see you all here, and thank you for taking your time. I am Priya DK, currently doing Bachelor's of Psychology at Open University, Malaysia. I have been traveling all around the world from the age of 19. After all these years of flying, experiencing the cultures all around the world, I realized that mental health awareness has been lacking, not just in Malaysia, but globally. So I'm here to break the stigma and spread the awareness of mental health to provide a better world for everyone, especially to our future generation. Thank you. If there is a novel based on my life, the name of the novel will be The Biggest Dream of a Young Woman. I'm here to chase my dream. I'm a professionally a healthcare worker who is advocating for the healthcare in Malaysia to make sure healthcare is not a business. I'm Rebecca Shalom Ravi Shankar, representing Johor for the Miss World Malaysia 2023. Thank you. 
Sejatra, Kopi Wasad, Tachahal, Wanako, and Sastrika to ladies and gentlemen. I'm here today because I consider myself as a student of life. I opt for new opportunities to every single thing I do. New experiences, meeting new people. My beauty with a purpose is suicide prevention. This is based on a personal experience that I faced after the passing of my father and my knowledge in psychology as a psychology major. I have created an online suicide prevention organization with three main objectives, prevention, intervention, and awareness. I'm here representing the silver city of Malaysia, Para, and I am Sarup Roshi. Ladies and gentlemen, Taiga Hao. We may not be able to change our past or shape them, but we are able to control and reduce how we feel about them. Hi, my name is Xu Wen Chai and I am from Kota Kinabalu, Sabah. I wanted to create a community where women of all colors can communicate to support and take care of each other. I also want to create a space where women are able to find their own strength and tell their own stories because that is power. Thank you. Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. A beauty is not defined by facial mode. 
A true beauty is reflected in her in a woman's soul. I'm Sisnita from Penang. I'm here boldly and confidently standing in front of you after after what life puts me through, just because of my mother. My mom is a single mother. Yes, I've seen what she has gone through in life, and beauty pageant taught me that it is the perfect place to empower women. Thank you. Live your life to the fullest because it's better to regret doing it than to regret not doing it. Let me explain. Do you really want to spend the rest of your life wondering what if? Why don't we just accept any results, learn from it, and grow from it? Challenge yourself every day to be a better version of you. My mission is to raise awareness on animal rights and to stop animal abuse. I am So Tan, finalist of Miss World Malaysia 2023, representing the land below the wind, Sabah. Hello, good evening, and namaskaram, everyone. I would like to start off with one of my favorite quotes. When there's love in your heart, it will guide you through life because love has its own intelligence. It's profound, and it's indeed one of the most grateful, one of the most greatest of all. As a final year medical student, I'm really, really looking forward to serve our community and country with so much integrity, values, and love. I am Vaishanavi, one of the finalists of Miss World Malaysia 2023, representing Selangor. May the love and light of your love create abundance, everyone. Thank you.
success without efforts. For me, efforts determine results. Without results, no one could accomplish anything. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I am Seldu from Pahang. With a material science background, I'm here to advocate efficient and sustainable method for renewable energy. Do join me along this journey for a better tomorrow. Thank you. The real warrior will never quit, no matter how much hopeless. We must be brave to take the chance to build ourselves into the potential. Representing Sabah, I am Yvette Chias. And why I'm here? Because I want to be the voice of voiceless to these neediest children. I want to help them to get a quality education to change their life. Thank you. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, presenting to you our beautiful finalists of Miss World Malaysia 2023 in their traditional and cultural wear. A round of applause, please, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you, ladies. We now leave the stage. Alexis, don't you think the finalists are super beautiful today? All thanks to the Glams Academy, Sinosia, and also LYC Healthcare. Beautiful inside and out, Alexis. Yeah, and it's kind of, you know, brings back to the core of, of Miss World, actually. Beauty with a purpose, both inside and out. You have to be beautiful, right? Now, you know, you've seen the girls, ladies and gentlemen. Now we'd like to interview the panel of judges to get to know a little bit more about how they will be selecting our winner for tonight. So, Militia, you would see the panel right here. Mm. And I'll go all the way the other side. Who shall I pick? <laughs> All right. I think I'm going to pick someone familiar. Mr. Edwin, Richard? Yes, hi. 
Maybe you can just stand, is that okay? Right, as a judge for today and also the co-founder of a beauty pageant fan club, what are your thoughts on the finalists so far? Um, first of all, uh, good evening everyone. Okay, so I think all of the finalists over here, they did a tremendous job. Uh, and I think there are some newbies, I mean, uh, their first time to join pageant. So for us, we should encourage them and also give support to them. We don't have to downgrade them saying that they are not worthy to be on that stage. So we should um, give full support so that they will always have the, uh, the feeling of enthusiastic. And then maybe one day they will represent Malaysia and bring crown to us. So I think um, there are a few ladies that caught our attention, but maybe um, that is another thing later on. So uh, all in all, uh, they all did a great job. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Alvin. All to you, Alexis. All right, ladies and gentlemen, now we have the panel right here. None other than my beautiful sisters, my beautiful Miss World Malaysia sisters. First off, I'd like to introduce our very beautiful Miss World Malaysia 2018, Miss Larissa Ping. Now, Larissa, you know, all of us have gone internationally, right? So we know exactly, you know, what Miss World is all about, which is beauty with a purpose. But I also want to know, what other aspects are there to judging who will be crowned tonight? I think we're looking for someone who has a good heart and we have been with them for the past few days. We had indoor judging and every contestant had the opportunity to show more of themselves and I think I would say it's a very tough um, choice for us but at the same time we're looking for a great ambassador not just for Malaysia, for Sabah, for all the different states and I think that is the crucial part. So I cannot wait for the Q&A, actually. That is my favorite segment. Thank you very much, Larissa. Now on to our very beautiful Bryn Lovett, Miss World Malaysia 2015. Now Bryn was actually our choreographer for the opening dance, the very beautiful opening dance that you saw all the girls performing just now. Now Bryn, one question. You know, you've been with the girls since the 22nd of August, you know, practicing every day. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to point it out for you so that we can appreciate the girls. They, we were working day and night on this dance with Bryn all the way up until 2, 3, 3 a.m. in the morning every single day and they're tired but they kept going on uh, how were the girls doing throughout the week throughout the week well I've only seen them during dance practice I know they've been <laughs> practicing really hard um, some were consistent some not so consistent and I think that's going to make it a little bit easier for us to decide who makes it to the next round. It is so important that the girls stay confident, consistent, and hopefully someone has that X factor that can help us decide who makes it to the next round. Thank you very much, Bryn. And thank you very much to our panel as well, Ms. Wenanita Agan and Ms. Sue Wincy. Now, Militia is here right now with me, but ladies and gentlemen, please enjoy as you feast your eyes onto the screen to witness the journey, witness the pageant week of the girls, what they were going through, how they were having fun. So feast your eyes onto the screen right now as we present to you the highlight of the day.
피코쇼 하세요. 치료 파장으로 피부 속 멜라닌을 골라 파괴, 주름 개선까지. 색소와 주름을 동시에 민낯 자신감. 피코쇼. 글램스 아카데미 invigorates the vibrant local talent in the beauty industry. The heart of our mission is to serve and empower aspiring entrepreneurs in Sabah, especially those from disadvantaged backgrounds. Therefore, we welcome passionate creatives to our program in these three fields. One, vitality programs, encompassing fitness, skincare and wellness. Two, professional makeup artistry, with a technical curriculum including beauty and fashion, bridal makeup and special effects. And three, stylistic mastery, where one learns the art of styling, discovers the latest fashion trends, masters runway techniques and more. These programs are intentionally structured and priced to be accessible to the communities we are passionate about serving. The Grams Academy also provides opportunities involving an exposure to various international activities like Miss World, Miss Grand, fashion magazine shoots, fashion shows, commercial advertisements and more. We are committed to providing local talent with a comprehensive vocational education, professional fashion workshops, international opportunities, mentorship and guidance and industry connections, as well as to nurturing the entrepreneurial spirit.
another round of applause for our amazing sponsors, ladies and gentlemen. Tonight, we gather to celebrate not just the outer beauty of this remarkable finalist, but also their inner beauty and the meaningful projects they've undertaken to make a positive impact on the lives of others. Beauty with a purpose goes beyond physical appearances. It's all about using one's platform and influence to bring about real change in the world, Lexus. That's right. This evening, we have the privilege of introducing the top five Beauty with a Purpose winners as they present their inspiring Beauty with a Purpose projects. Now, these projects span from various areas from education to healthcare to environmental sustainability and mental health awareness. Now, through these projects, these women have demonstrated their utmost commitment to creating a better world for our country and for our world. So, ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, let's meet our wonderful contestants and learn about their projects. Now, here's the situation. Each of them will only have one minute, which is equivalent to 60 seconds to present their Beauty with a Purpose project. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting to you our first finalist, Adlin Jane. gentlemen again I know of a girl who was in a car crash last year her window screen shattered the engine spilled over and the passerby for that incident that accident was so shocked to see her limbs moving working perfectly fine last year I got into a car crash and thankfully I was safe my beauty with a purpose revolves around road safety where I focus and advocate about road safety in Malaysia. Because if you didn't know, Malaysia is actually the third country in the world where you're most likely to die of a road traffic accident. Scary, isn't it? So what I've done so far is to speak to the youth where I believe that we do not need to see another young adult dying because of drunk driving. I also have spoken to politicians to upgrade roads in the country, for example, Pataling Jaya, Subang Jaya. And because of road traffic accidents, we must understand that the people who do survive it sustain a physical injury where they can't move their limbs. And I've also had sustainable solutions done for them. Thank you. Thank you, Adlin. Moving on to our second finalist, Alicia. My heart is about raising the next generation of leaders, which are the wonderful children who can influence our future. I believe that knowledge has the power to transform lives and shape destinies, which is why I am drawn to this path. To educate and empower children to dream big and become our future leaders that our world needs. Imagine. A world where every children has the chance to learn, grow, and thrive in this life, regardless of their circumstances. Signing up as a volunteer with the Starfish Malaysia Foundation is a priceless investment where children's life is nurtured and their destinies are shaped. So let's empower children through education. Hope in the life of children. Thank you. Thank you, finalist number two. Moving on to finalist number three, Lina Tan.
Do you feel like the weather is getting warmer recently? Cameron Highland is not cold anymore. It's all because of climate change. I've carried out the Zero Waste Project, Less Waste, More Life, to stop the climate change. There's three pillars in my project, M, S, and N. M for more, more. I've carried out a business that turns scrap metal into home and living products. We have managed to sell 83,000 products over two years' time, and that equals to 153,000 days of daily household energy consumption. Second pillar, social media. I have used my influence to let people know that sustainability starts from daily activities, such as just switching off your tap when you're brushing the teeth. And NGO. There's a limitation to how much businesses can do. Therefore, I would like to engage NGOs to spread the influence. I want to ask everyone, if you really feel the warm right now, what about future generation? How about future generation of us? If not now, when? If not me, who? Thank you. Thank you, finalist number three. Moving on to finalist number five, Natalie Ang. My beauty with a purpose is not a project, but a journey. When I volunteered in the Philippines to help underprivileged children as a teenager, I had no idea how it would alter the trajectory of my life forever. From influencing my degree choice of chemical engineering, because I was inspired by one to develop a device similar to LiveStraw, which provided access to clean water, to my founding of a non-profit organization, Untok Kita, that provided 5,704 meals and food aid to 600 families in Klang Valley during the COVID pandemic. I believe that although my dedication is personal, we should embrace empowerment as a collective instead of individual. It is a beauty queen's duty to help whomever and whenever we can because we are all beautiful and we are all Deserving. Thank you. Thank you, finalist number five. Moving on to finalist number eight, Sarah Roshi. mental health treatment that I've given, which is free psychological screening and group therapy to teen girls who have been abused sexually and physically, there was a girl that came up to me and said, Aka, one day I too want to help others like you do. And that's when I realized the ripple effect that I've created. My journey of Beauty with a Purpose is of four years where I have created awareness for over 50,000 reach on social media, conducted workshops, and also mental health treatment. Suicide is something which is extremely important and it's crucial thing that we need to pay attention to because in Malaysia, there is one in four teenagers who are depressed and it requires tangible change, which I have been trying to create by myself but we can change that because we all can become an ambassador of hope and change. I know that, ladies and gentlemen, because I am a survivor of suicidal ideations and I am a testament to that. Thank you. Thank you, finalist number eight. And our final finalist in our top six, we have finalist number 12, Vaishnavi.
With awareness can we survive, with clarity will we thrive. A quality mental health stems out from emotional intelligence, having the right to express yourself, and having the courage to communicate the way you feel. This element brings about an individual who is emotionally mat mature and who is also not just sensitive to the life within him, but also the life around him. Embracing and nurturing such individuals in our society is never Im impossible. However, pragmatic implementations has to be made in the right environment and at the right time. Hence, introducing my beauty with a purpose, which is to spread mental health awareness that is encapsulated with clarity to high school and primary school students. Thank you. Thank you, finalist number 12. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen, our top six beauty with a purpose finalists. Wow, Alexis, what do you think? You know what, I think all of them have amazing, amazing Beauty With A Purpose projects. Not just these six, but all 14 of them. But you know what, good luck ladies, they're all so wonderful and I cannot wait to see each of you carry forward these projects, you know, for the coming years to come, alright? Thank you so much Alexis and now I'll be moving to the audience to actually know what do they think of our top six Beauty With A Purpose so far. Who shall I pick? Oh, this table is attracting me. I shall come over here. Hello? Hello, sir. Can I say a few words with you? Can I interview you? Yes? Hi, what do you think about the show so far, especially the top six of Beauty with a Purpose? What do you think about the uh, stories and their presentation so far? Wow, it's wonderful. Yeah, so especially the sharing is so uh, touching. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. So far, it's wonderful and touching. Let's go over this side. Oh, we have beautiful people here. Ooh. Ooh, I'm attracted by this table over here. He's gonna come forward. Hello, beautiful people. Yes, oh, you call me. Yes, I shall come over. Hello. Oh, I must sit down. I shall be doing this in an impromptu way. Hello, beautiful lady, Meng. Nice to meet you here, Meng. Hi. So Ming, what do you think about the show so far and what are your thoughts on the finalists of Best World Malaysia? Oh, fantastic. They're beautiful. Tonight is great. Thank you all and I hope you enjoy yourself. I love your beautiful energy. Thank you so much. Once again, Ming. Hello. Let me go somewhere. Here. Any volunteers? <laughs> oh, hello. Hello, LYC Healthcare. So earlier I mentioned about them looking beautiful inside and out. Would you like to add a little bit more on that? Hi. I believe all their talk, it is actually very important and I believe the most important one is a continuation plan. So some of them has a very good element and a very good heart and a proper plan that is they know what are they going to continue after this. That is really meaningful because it's all come from their heart. That is what we should treasure all their efforts. Thank you so much. And now, Alexis, back to you. Thank you very much, Malaysia. And thank you so much to our uh, panel of audience, shall I say. Now, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to be calling out our contestants once more. So give it up for our finalists as they come back on stage, showcasing their vibrant personalities, this time in sportswear. Take it away, girls.
Contestant number one, Adeline Jane Andrew. Next up, we have finalist number two, Alicia. Finalist number three, Lena Tan. Number four, Maria. Finalist number five, Natalie Ah. Finalist number six, Priya DK.
number seven, Rebecca Shalom. Finalist number eight, Sarok Roshi. Contestant number nine, Shu Wen Chai. Finalist number 10, Sisnita. Number 11, So N Pan. Finalist number 12, Vaishanavi.
to number 13, Xiao Zi. Finalist at number 14, Yvette Chase. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen, all of our 14 beautiful finalists in sportswear. Please do give them a round of applause. Now, over the past week, our ladies showcased their exceptional talents, and we have picked our top three talents. Tonight, this talent will perform for all of us. Please put your hands together to welcome finalist number five, Natalie Ang. Change are blowing wild and free. 
Ladies and gentlemen, finalist number five, Natalie Ang. What a beautiful voice. Moving on to a dancing performance by finalist number 13, Xiao Zi. Aquí se juega como se baila la pasión que tiene mi gente que dan las penas en el olvido bienvenidos a mi continente Number 13, Xiao Zhu. Wow, sexy. Moving on to our final top three finalists, we have number 14, Yvette. Stop the record, let the singer sing. I'm burning up, you know I'm really on fire. Popping like the 
Just some lemon pepper wings. Talking and I'm somebody daughter. Coming straight out of Jakarta. It's my fault that your baby daddy looking. He say he wanna be my baby father. Hey DJ, want it, want it back, huh? That cause I'm go hit, she don't know how to act, huh? Asian, white, girl, Latino, white, and black, huh? It's only one thing to do on this track, huh? Oh, it's like you're scared of me. I need Lotto, big, big energy. All the bottles we need champagne therapy. H I J K L M N O P. What? Tick, tick. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen. One more big round of applause for contestant number 14, Yvette. All right, ladies and gentlemen, those were your top three talent winners. Now, by the end of the night, we will be awarding the subsidiary title of top talent to one of these lucky winners. But for now, ladies and gentlemen, feast your eyes onto the screen as we present to you our highlight video and our sponsor video as well. Now, Malisha, while we're waiting, I'd just like to ask you, you know, all these 14 girls, you've seen them from, wh when do you come to Sabah again? On the 20th year. Okay, so when in terms of transformation, how has that been for all the girls? Honestly, Alexis, they, they are doing amazing. They have grown since the first day I've met them. Some of them are more shy and now they're becoming more and confident. Especially on stage earlier, their stage performance was amazing, Alexis. Right. Now, I want to know from the audience, I know, you know, Malaysia has 14 states, right? Now, I want to know who here is from Kuala Lumpur. Can I hear Woohoo! Who here is from Perak? No oh. one from Perak. I mean, let's try this state. Kota Kinabalu! I knew it. But that was only Kota Kinabalu, you know? You have like Warren and you have everything. So, True. Saba in general. We've got Sarawak. Nope. We'll cheer for them. Woo! <laughs> But either way, you know what, ladies and gentlemen, it doesn't matter which state you're coming from. But as long as you're here to support each and every one of our contestants, we would really appreciate that. Thank you so much for doing that throughout the night. Alexis, shall we go and interview the beautiful audience once again? Let's we shall. <laughs> Let's go over this side. Hello. You go over this oh, side, hello. Malaysia. Hello, that's Ramesh. Would you like to answer a few questions from me? Uh, can you tell us all a little bit about what I'm wearing today? I'm wearing two million worth of diamonds, correct? Uh, hi, good evening. Um, yes, you are wearing a two million ringgit. That is actually a fancy card diamond with fancy yellow and yes it's specially designed and it's specially carved just for this evening so it's just ready you have to come to KL <laughs> at Saras the house of Saras thank you so much Dr. Ramesh Alexis where are I'm you here. 
<laughs> now we're just going to interview a couple of audiences right here. I'll just like to come to this table. Maybe one of you, maybe I can talk to one of you right here. Maybe the beautiful lady in pink. Hi, what is your name? Shirley. Hi, Shirley. Now, who are you particularly? Is there any contestant in particular that you're rooting for? Yes, um, we do like the Rachadi. Natalie. Yes, Natalie. <laughs> we like her because she is very beautiful and um, we like her. We like her style, yes. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Well, one table for Natalie. What about you, Malisha? What about your table? Hello, Caleb. Our product genius from Riga's Premium Saba. All right, the beautiful 14 finalists got the opportunity to actually try out the beautiful BMW iX. Am I right, Caleb? Yes, that's right. So, Caleb, can you tell us a little bit about the experience in general and the time you spend with all 14 beautiful finalists? Well, I think it was a really fascinating experience, even for myself and I hope for all the finalists as well. They did really great in their research and I was actually really amazed with all their like, learning process as well. Thank you so much, Caleb, our product genius from Riga's Premium Saba. Back to you, Alexis. I, I have this one right here, this table right here, all the way to this side. We see this enthusiastic table right here, and I'm taking, picking this lovely woman in black. Maybe you could stand up? All right. Now, introduce yourself to the crowd. Hi, I'm Ida. And today, I would like to say good luck to all the contestants today. And at the end of the day, everyone is a winner and beauty is in the eye of the beholder. So, beauty is a mindset. Everyone's gorgeous. Thank you. Well, it just seems like you are ready to participate in Miss World Malaysia next year? No? Maybe the following year? We always welcome you with open doors. All right. Now, Malisha, where are you? Ah, you're back there. So, ladies and gentlemen, now is the time for all of us to watch the highlight video of the Hive Life Festival throughout their pageant weeks and also to thank our amazing sponsors, Eyes on Screen.
Et Cochure. Picosure, 하세요. 치료 파장으로 피부 속 멜라닌을 골라 파괴, 주름 개선까지. 색소와 주름을 동시에 민낯 자신감. 피코쇼. The Glam's Academy invigorates the vibrant local talent in the beauty industry. The heart of our mission is to serve and empower aspiring entrepreneurs in Sabah, especially those from disadvantaged backgrounds. Therefore, we welcome passionate creatives to our program in these three fields. One, vitality programs, encompassing fitness, skincare, and wellness. Two, professional makeup artistry, with a technical curriculum including beauty and fashion, bridal makeup and special effects. And three, stylistic mastery, where one learns the art of styling, discovers the latest fashion trends, masters runway techniques and more. These programs are intentionally structured and priced to be accessible to the communities we are passionate about serving. The Grams Academy also provides opportunities involving an exposure to various international activities like Miss World, Miss Grand, fashion magazine shoots, fashion shows, commercial advertisements and more. We are committed to providing local talent with a comprehensive vocational education, professional fashion workshops, international opportunities, mentorship and guidance and industry connections, as well as to nurturing the entrepreneurial spirit.
once again, thank you so much to all of our amazing sponsors who made today possible. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting to you on stage a hip hop dance performance by D Step Dancers. You're one in a million Can fall for everyone you see. The only one can really make me stay. Sign from the sky, said to me. Searching for someone to give my love When I thought that all the hope was gone The smile, there you were, and I was gone I always will remember how I felt that day A feeling indescribable to me, yeah I always knew that was an answer for my prayer And you, you're the one, the one for me Me, but it was impossible. There you have it, D Stab Dancers, one in a million. Thank you so much, beautiful dancers. A round of applause for D Stab Dancers once again. Now, Alexis, you look beautiful today. Thank you so much. You who are too. you wearing? Ooh, who am I wearing today? I know both of us are indeed in none other than Eric Han Couture. And he is amazing with all our dresses, evening gowns, uh, cocktail dresses. So yes, thank you so much to Eric Han. Now, I think this is the moment that a lot of people are waiting for, right? And this is one of my favorite segments out of a beauty pageant. Mine too. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, the moment that we've all been waiting for. This is the finalists of Miss World Malaysia 2023 in their evening gowns. Finalist number one, Adeline Jane Andrew.
Number two, Alicia. Contestant number three, Lina Tan. Finalist number four, Maria Misha.
contestant number five, Natalie Ang. Finalist number six, Priya DK. Contestant number seven, Rebecca Shalom.
Finalist number A, Sarok Roshi. Contestant number nine, Shu Wen Chai. Number 10, Sisnita.
number 11, So and Tan. Number 12, Vaishnavi. Finalist number 13, Xiao Zi.
finalist number 14, Yvette Jays. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, presenting on stage all the finalists of Miss World Malaysia 2023 in evening gown. Judges, I'm pretty sure this is a very, very tough decision for you, but you would have to make a decision after this. Now, ladies and gentlemen, we have come to the much anticipated announcement of the subsidiary titles, celebrating various aspects of our finalists' exceptional qualities. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in welcoming onto the stage Dr. Sean Wong, PBM CEO of Hyperlife Entertainment and National Director of Miss World Malaysia to announce the results. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I have the results in my hand. And this is for the subsidiary titles. So we would like to invite our very special guests to come up on stage to give out the sessions. So can we welcome our supporting partner, Mr. Porshin Ng, manager of Singapore and Malaysia, Sinoja. Please join me on stage. This subsidiary award is Miss Beautiful Energy. And Miss Beautiful Energy is Sarup Roshi.
Thank you, Mr. Poshin Ng. Next, please welcome Mr. KB Lee, Senior Business Development Manager of LYC Healthcare, Bahad. We will be presenting to you Miss LYC. Thank you so much for being such a generous sponsor. Right, so Miss LYC goes to Sarup Roshi. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. KB Lee. Please welcome Miss Angel Chong of LYC. This award is Miss Young Claire. And the winner of the above subsidiary titles will earn herself a brand ambassadorship of the sponsors. Well, Miss Young Claire goes to... Sarup Roshi! Congratulations. Thank you, Ms. Angel Chong. And please welcome Ms. Adeline Velvet on stage to give out the rest of the sessions. And this award is Miss Ai Chi Yi. So ladies and gentlemen, for your information, we are very honoured to have an official broadcast partner, Ai Chi Yi. We have produced a very interesting six-episode reality TV show. And this will be broadcasted on Ai Chi Yi one week later. So please download the app Ai Chi Yi to follow us and also to watch our reality program. So Miss Ai Chi Yi goes to Natalie Ang. Thank you. Next award, Miss Personality. And Miss Personality goes to Alicia Michelle. Congratulations. Next, we have Miss Photogenic. And Miss Photogenic goes to Sisnitha.
Congratulations. Next, we have Miss Elegance. Miss Elegance goes to Natalie Ang. Congratulations. Next, we have Miss Eloquence. And Miss Eloquence goes to Natalie Ang. Congratulations. Next, we have Miss Body Beautiful. And Miss Body Beautiful goes to Lena Tan. Congratulations. We have the award for best designer dress. And the best designer dress goes to Sarup Roshi. Congratulations. And now we have the award for Top Talent. And our Top Talent goes to Yvette Jays. Congratulations. Next, we are giving out the award for the Sports Ambassador. And the Sports Ambassador goes to Shu Wen Chai. Congratulations. Next, we have Top Model. And the Top Model goes to Lena Tan. And for the next award, a very important award, because this is a Fast Track Challenge Award. For the best Beauty with a Purpose project presentation, this is Miss Goodwill Ambassador. So if you are the winner of this Miss Goodwill Ambassador, you will automatically be in the top Eight position. Miss Goodwill Ambassador goes to Vaishnavi. Congratulations, you made it to top eight.
congratulations and next we have the most outstanding influencer award and this is also a fast track challenge and you will automatically be in top eight the most outstanding influencer goes to Sarup Noshi So congratulations, you are now in top 8 Congratulations, we have 2 in the top 8 and for the last subsidiary title award, this is also a fast track challenge. People's Choice Award. And she will automatically enter top eight. She is Alicia Michelle. Congratulations, thank you so much, Miss Adeline Velvet. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Can we have the three top eight winners to step in front? Vaishnavi, Sarup Roshi, and Alicia Michel. Can we have the results, please, for the top eight? And we have five more in the top eight. Ladies and gentlemen, next to enter the top eight position is Natalie Ang. Next, we have Lina Tan. And we have the next finalist to enter top eight. She is Adelaide Jane. And we have six, two more. The next finalist to enter top eight is Shu Wen Chai. And we had one last spot. Who will it be? And the last finalist to enter top eight is So Anton. Congratulations, ladies. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen, your top eight of Miss World Malaysia 2023.
All right, ladies. Thank you so much. Let me now hand over to our beautiful host once again. Thank you so much, Dr. Sean Wong. Once again, congratulations, ladies. You made it to top eight. Now, to decide our top six, Alexis, we shall be doing a quick question and answer. Yes, we shall. The rules are very simple. The answers, are, the questions are same. So everyone will have a fair chance. And you only have 30 seconds to answer us. All right? Starting with Chai. Question is, why should you be the next Miss World Malaysia? And your time starts now. I believe that all the girls here deserve a fair chance to win Miss World Malaysia 2023. But the reason that I will win Miss World Malaysia 2023 is because I am genuine and have, I have a good heart. And I really truly believe in goodness, in people, and I believe that everybody can achieve in whatever they want to do, whatever they want to go for. And for you out there, if you want to chase your dreams, follow your heart, go for it, because I believe in you too. Thank you. Thank you, Chai. Over to my right, we have So Eun Pan. Hello, So Eun. Your question is, why should you be the next Miss World Malaysia 2023? Thank you for the question. I want to make a difference for the animals. I want them to live in this world freely with no fear. I think that animals should deserve to be in this world as much as we do. I want to inspire younger generations to have more love and compassionate to them so that they can live in this world in a better place. Thank you. Thank you very much, Soen. Next up we have a Vaishu. Vaishu, why should you be the next Miss World Malaysia? Hello everyone, thank you very much for the question. For me, I believe as Miss World, you need to have charisma, profoundness in the way you look at life, and as well as being life sensitive. And I believe I acquire all of those quality. Besides that, if I am the queen, I would definitely bring about my beauty with purpose into reality and make a difference in the children's life. Thank you. Thank you, Vaishu. Up next, we have Sarup Roshi. Sarup, why should you be the next Miss World Malaysia? I'm really grateful to be here today, and I should be the next Miss World Malaysia 2023 because I've been doing the leg work for the past four years in an issue which is so crucial to our country, but it has been overlooked for the past many, many years. And it's time for me to collaborate with Miss World Malaysia's organization and the Queen's to bring a real tangible chain in our country. Thank you. Thank you very much, Saru. Hi, Evelyn. Your question is, why should you be the next Miss World Malaysia? I believe Miss World Malaysia, the job itself, it's not a year-long job, but a lifelong commitment. I want to be able to speak on issues which include sexual harassment, road traffic accidents, mental health, and so many social issues because I know I have a voice that can change indeed Malaysia. Thank you. Thank you, Evelyn. Up next, we have Alicia. Alicia, why should you be Miss World Malaysia 2023? Thank you for the question. I truly believe why I should be the queen for Miss Malaysia 2023 is all because of the beauty with a purpose. Because Miss World is not just about beauty. It, will, it is with a purpose which is to help the community, especially the children. So I want to voice out to help the children to give education to them. Thank you. Thank you very much, Alicia. Hi, Lena. Why should you be the next Miss World Malaysia? I should be the next Miss World Malaysia because of two reasons. First, I have strong execution skills. In only two years' time, I have sold 83,000 products that is sustainable. And the second reason is climate change is not going to wait for us, okay? If it's not now, when? If it's not me, who? Thank you. 
Uh, thank you, Lena. Last but not least, on our top eight, we have Natalie Ang. Natalie, why should you be the next Miss World Malaysia? Miss World is all about empowerment. As an individual that has empowered others through my multiple projects in my Beauty with a Purpose journey, and an individual that has been empowered, not through the pageant, but also the community as well. And what better way to give back to the community than through a platform that does exactly that. Thank you very much, Natalie. Whew. Alexis, those answers, <laughs> judges, the task is yours. <laughs> I know, I wouldn't want to be a judge right now because this is truly a remarkable and incredible top eight list. Give them a big round of applause once again, ladies and gentlemen. Go. All right. Now that we've seen our potential queen, one of them will be our potential queen, now we want to introduce a former queen to you, all right? It is an honor to introduce a remarkable individual who embodies the spirit of compassion, intelligence, and determination. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in welcoming the esteemed Dr. Sue Wincy. Now, Dr. Sue Wincy is a woman of many, many talents, as I'm sure most of you know. And her achievements are just truly remarkable. Not only is she a beauty queen who captured the title of Miss World Malaysia 2008, but she is also a respected entrepreneur, singer-songwriter, actress, and philanthropist. Her journey is a testament to the boundless possibilities of combining beauty with a purpose, the very core of Miss World. True that, Lexus, beyond her captivating beauty and aesthetic pursuits, Dr. Dr. Sue Wincy is a dedicated advocate for education, health care, and social empowerment. Tonight, we are privileged to have Dr. Sue Wincy with us, not just as a role model, but as an inspiration for what can be achieved when beauty is coupled with purpose. Ladies and gentlemen, let's give her a warm welcome, Dr. Sue Wincy on stage. Berjuta bintang menyanyi Kedian cara yang satu Mungkin cahaya dan impianku di sini Menjadi 
Kini kami ulang itu semakin pasti ku genggam kami suara keyakinan yang dalam kemenda harus jangan jiwaku harus bertenaga mungkinkah ini menjadi kehilangan Terima kasih. Thank you so much. It's been a while and amazing performance by all our queens here, all our judges and also contestants. And ladies and gentlemen, once again, give us a round of applause to all the contestants and all the top finalists. So Beauty with a Purpose, um, yeah, my reigning year was 2008 and ever since then, it never stopped until today. So the next song is my own composition. It's about dream. It's about pursuing your goals in life. Success and hard work, it's always, always in your hand. So this song, specially dedicated to the queen tonight, this song is called My Time. I'm going to change the lyrics to your time. Take it from there. Thank you. No matter what they gonna say At the end of the day Even though the world won't believe in me I still believe No matter what I'm gonna face It won't go to waste I'd rather take the fall Than losing it all Endless nights fighting all alone For this dream of mine to be known Finally Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. Once again, Dr. Sue Wen Siu. 
What a beautiful voice, Alexis, don't you think so? I wish I could sing like that. And that is why she was Miss World Malaysia 2008, right? All right, I think we've come to the most exciting part, one of the most exciting parts. What is it, Mel? Ooh, it's time <laughs> for the results. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Dr. Sean Wong, once again on stage to announce the top six. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting on stage, our top eight finalists once again. Well, ladies, congratulations for making it this far. You look wonderful and I think you did very well. Congratulations. But you know, this is a competition and we have to announce the next six finalists for making it into the top six. And so I have the results in my hands. I have to make sure that I don't make a mistake. Ladies and gentlemen, in no particular order, entering top six is Natalie Ang. Next, we have Alicia Michelle. Next entering top six is Sarup Rashi. Next we have Shu Wen Chai. Two more. In top six is Vaishnavi. And we have one last spot. And the last finalist to enter top six is. Adley Jane! Thank you very much, ladies. Congratulations to our top six ladies. Ladies and gentlemen, please give them a big round of applause. And now, I'm going to hand it over to our beautiful host once again to make the final segment of our most interesting competition. Thank you very much, Sean. Are you happy with our top six, ladies and gentlemen? All right, now comes one of my favorite segments as well. The deep, intense Q&A. Now here's how it's gonna go, ladies and gentlemen. Militia has six envelopes in her hands. Each contestant will come up accordingly, pick one envelope, which is in random order, from Alicia Hands, and we will ask the question from there. Ladies, are you ready? We'll start with finalist number one, Adeline Jane. Adeline, please pick an envelope.
Adeline, your question is, the beauty industry is often criticized for promoting unrealistic standards. How do you plan to redefine beauty to be more inclusive and empowering? Would you like me to repeat the question? The beauty industry is often criticized for promoting unrealistic standards. How do you plan to redefine beauty to be more inclusive and empowering? You have 60 seconds. Thank you for the question. I do believe that the industry do in fact have all these beauty stereotypes going around, especially on Instagram as well. So what I suggest really, when we see in Finland, when we see in first world countries, they actually have legislation where if you have a certain edit on the picture, you state that your picture is edited. And we should really introduce that sort of legislation as well. But for me, I'm not a politician, but what I can do is advocate about this on my social media platform and hopefully as a Miss World Malaysia too. Thank you. Thank you very much, contestant number one, Adeline Jane. Up next, we have Natalie Ang. All right, Natalie, it's just the same. 60 seconds on the clock. Choose any envelope from Alicia's hand. Natalie, your question is, as a role model for young women, how would you inspire them to become agents of positive change in their communities? Would you like me to repeat the question? As a role model for young women, how would you inspire them to become agents of positive changes in their communities? Thank you for the question. The way I would advise young women or younger individuals to become agents of good advocacies is to first look within. You can only know what you want to help outside externally if you can understand and relate deeper to it. For example, my Beauty with a Purpose with projects are all personal, and so I would promote that to my audience to not just hop on any bandwagon of any advocacy, but to look within, understand it, relate to it, so that you can be the perfect and better advocate for that empowerment. That is all, thank you. Thank you very much, Natalie. Up next, we have Alicia. Hello, Alicia. You have 60 seconds on the clock. Pick any envelopes from Alicia Hands. Your question is, what initiatives would you implement to promote dialogue and understanding among diverse cultures and backgrounds? I repeat, what initiatives would you implement to promote dialogue and understanding among diverse cultures and backgrounds? Your 60 seconds starts now. It is by changing my mindset and become example to, peop to all the people around me through social media, through my life, through my smiles, through my walk, because Everyone can see, everyone see your life. And through my tape tree, which is diversity, mix of Scottish, Irish, Australian, Chinese, and Filipino, this is where I can show other people that we can come together and impact other people to come together as a diversity cultures. Thank you. Thank you very much, Alicia. Up next, we have Saru. Hi, Saru. 60 seconds on the clock. Pick an envelope. Thank you. Your question is, how would you utilize social media and technology to amplify your message and impact more lives positively? I repeat. How will you utilize social media and technologies to amplify your message and impact more lives positively? 60 seconds on the clock. I believe that social media, media has been revolutionized the world and it is a very powerful tool 
I have been using social media to bring positive impact to our society since the very long time. I have started my beauty with a purpose and it is not just limited to suicide prevention because I teach people on how to overcome adversities, on how to become hope, an ambassador of hope because in life, when things go wrong, we can't stop them. It's inevitable. But what we can really have is skill set, and that is exactly what I have been doing through my social media platform, whether it's personal or my Unmask Yourself. And I believe that is the way I will be continuing as your Miss World Malaysia 2023, hopefully. Thank you. Thank you very much, Saru. Up next, we have Baishu. Hello, 60 seconds on the clock. You have two envelopes to choose from. Thank you. Your question is, confidence is an essential aspect of being a beauty queen. How have you overcome challenges and developed self-confidence throughout your journey? I repeat, confidence is an essential aspect of being a beauty queen. How have you overcome challenges and developed self-confidence throughout your journey? 60 seconds on the clock. Thank you very much for the question. I believe confidence comes with a deep-rooted self-esteem when you know your innate personality. Because I believe in this generation where social media is quite vastly used, it's very easy for you to acquire a personality rather than truly understanding who exactly you are. So I would say truly understand you Truly understand your purpose in life. Be life sensitive towards yourself. Automatically, you will become life sensitive towards everyone around you. And that's how you build confidence. Because through that, will you gain self-esteem and understand yourself better. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Vaishu. Last but not least, on our top six, we have Shu and Chai. Now you have no choice but to pick one last envelope. I'm so sorry, but here is your question. Your question is, what steps would you take to empower women and promote gender equality during your reign? I repeat, what steps would you take to empower women and promote gender equality during your reign. 60 seconds on the clock. Thank you so much for your question. First of all, I think social media is a really important and impactful power uh, tool to utilize in nowadays society. So first of all, what I would use, what I would do is to use social media to talk and speak up about the problems and also using social media, my platform, to educate others in gender equality, for example, unequal, unequal pay wages, and also, for example, like um, sexual harassment issues that uh, women or male or LGBTQ community are going through in nowadays society. So I don't want to put limitations in genders and also colors. I wanted to spread out the word that everybody deserves to have equality and also everybody deserves to have a fair life, a fair chance for anything they want to achieve in life. Thank you. Thank you very much, Xu and Tai. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen. These are our top six for Miss World Malaysia 2023. They answered so incredibly well. I'm so proud. Both of us are so proud of you. All right. Thank you very much, ladies. Now, ladies and gentlemen, as we all know, normally in beauty pageants, when one queen enters, another exits but this time round she is not exiting we're calling it the hall of fame or the walk of fame because we are going to be witnessing her compete for us for our country in india at miss world in november i am so so honored to welcome this very very special individual as we crown the new queen tonight, we also like to take this time to show appreciation 
to, of course, none other than our reigning queen. It is with great pride that we welcome on stage the reigning Miss World Malaysia 2022, Miss Wenanita Angang. Oh my God, Alexis, before yes. our reigning queen comes on stage, what do you think about the top six Q&A earlier? I think each, of, each and every one of them really deserve to win. Um, there is no favorites for me. I love all of them, you know, and as a past queen, I'm pretty sure my sisters right there ha are having a very hard time. I'm pretty sure the judges right here are having a very hard time choosing the winners as well. If I could pick one winner, I'll pick any of them, really. It's, it's really a tough one this year. Yeah, what, are we, what about you? I mean, honestly, pretty same. I think all of them answered really, really well. All of them speak so well and they all could actually understand and deliver the essence of the question earlier, if you notice that. So what do everyone here think? How about the audiences? Audiences, are you at Aramaiti or are you still with us? Aramaiti? I can't hear you. Is it Aramaiti or with us? <laughs> Alexis, I think they're all having fun, enjoying themselves. Yes, they sure are. But you know what? I want to talk to a couple of people from over from this side right here. Who are you guys rooting for? How about this table? Who are you guys rooting for? Anyone from this table? Sarup. We've got Sarup from this table. What about you, Mel? Go to another table and let's find out. I'm going to come over here. Hi, Portion. Portion from Sinoja. So, who's your pick so far? What's, who's your bat for tonight? So, we have a really sad Sarov, so uh, we will continue to support her. Yeah. Uh, Alexis, where are you? I'm right here at the back. Hello. Okay, hello. All right, we're gonna ask this one here, this beautiful tables of lovely women, and hello, everyone. Hi. Who are you rooting for tonight? Natalie. She's very shy to say Melissa, but I think she mouthed out Natalie. <laughs> so she's supporting Natalie. What about you? Same with her. Wow. So we've got a table full of Natalie supporters, yeah? Wow. Where are you, Melissa? Ah. I'm over here. Hello, who is your bet for tonight? No one? Are you supporting everyone? Yes, the answer is yes, Alexis. Supporting everyone? Yeah, everyone, top six, wow. it's hard to pick. Okay, I'm just going to go around this corner because I don't think we've gone to the far right of us. Actually, this table, who are you guys rooting for? I shall come here. Huh? I hear what, I'm going here. 
because you're the only one that wants to speak. Who are you rooting for? Who is this table rooting for? Sarup. We've got another Sarup supporting table here. I'm over here. Who's your back? Sarup Roshi. Oh, wow. Oh, I see another hand, Alexis. Hold Where? on. Over here, let me come. And yes, who's your bad? Beautiful. We love Sharob. Sharob. She's the winner. Wow, Alexis. I mean, <laughs> this is getting difficult. It Judges. is getting difficult. <laughs> but either way, we'll ask, and we're going to ask two more questions, Malisha. Yes. To the audience? Sure. Yeah? We're going to go all the way to the back. I know you guys are really scared to talk to us, but that's okay. Hello. Hello. Oh, you guys are scared. <laughs> what about this table? Hello. Hi. Lady in green. Who are you rooting for tonight? Natalie. We've got another Natalie as well. Natalie Table Militia. How about you find one more? I shall <laughs> pick this beautiful lady. All right. Final one. Who's your bat? Uh, the lady in black, Saru, right? Yes. There you go. Saru, Alexis. Yes. Woo! Well, I, I hear a lot of other supporters for other contestants as well, but maybe you guys are too shy to come up and talk to us, but that's okay. We're gonna move on. Militia, what's next? I am coming, Alexis. With that, ladies and gentlemen, presenting on stage, our reigning Miss Wall Malaysia 2022, Miss Renatita Angang. Carrying this crown meant the whole world to me since the first moment it rested on my head exactly a year ago in this very venue. It meant responsibilities and opportunities beyond compare. Above all, it meant offering myself to the service of others that need it. I am an advocate of the Autistic Society in Malaysia, a journey which has taken me to many regions in Malaysia, meeting amazing people and learning new ways to serve. I am the result of my family, team, and supporters. Mom and Dad, thank you for supporting me in every possible way. To the ones who always saw the potential in me and pushed me to excel beyond my own imagination, December Tio, Camelia Mike, Jaren Thomas George, Nadia Shakira, and my Miss World Malaysia sisters. You are nothing short of gems that I have found as a beautiful surprise. Last but not least, to all those who have been behind me, to each one of you, I owe the biggest thank you. Now, my dear sister, Miss World Malaysia 2023, never forget that the world is your canvas and you are meant to paint it as you have envisioned. As you paint it, I will be here, supporting and cheering you on in any manner that I can. Together with our other sisters and all those behind you, you have nothing to worry about. As I bid my farewell nationally, may you join me in welcoming my journey internationally. Keep me in your prayers and hope as I continue my journey as our flag bearer to India. I am Wenanita Wences Angang, forever your Miss World Malaysia 2022. Ladies and gentlemen, once again, a big round of applause for our reigning Miss World Malaysia 2023. Oh no! I feel like for the Miss World sisters, that's very, very emotional for us. But I know Wena, 
You don't have to be emotional because you're still going to represent us. That's why we call it the Walk of Fame because she will be representing us in India in November all the way up until December this year. Now, Wena, tell me, how has your journey been over the past year? This past year has been beyond my imagination. I never thought I would be able to gain all of the experiences and meet the amount of people that I have met. And I've learned so many experiences, a lot of lessons throughout this whole one year. And as an advocate for someone who loves to educate other people about, for example, the autistic community, I have learned more than I can educate. And I love that I am able to also be a voice to educate other people. Thank you so much, everyone, for your support. And as I have said in my speech previously, I also will be competing at the end of this year. And I can't wait to bring along my successor on this journey with me. And I will be there for her just as she will be there for me. Thank you so much. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. Please do support When Anita's journey towards Miss World. Competing at Miss World, I'm so excited for her. All of us are so excited for her. And right now, we just want to thank you one more time for everything that you've done for your community. She has done amazing for her BWAP, her Beauty with a Purpose with Autism Kids. And look at her. Doesn't she look good tonight? <laughs> Doesn't she look good tonight, ladies and gentlemen? Well, Wena, it's been a pleasure watching your journey. I cannot wait to continue watching it all the way up until you compete in Miss World. Thank you so much once again. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, Wena Anita Anga. All right, Mel, I think something important is coming up very, very soon. Yes, but before that, can we just talk about Wena's tears? It's making me sad. But once again, ladies and gentlemen, do remember to support her as she will be representing Miss World Malaysia to the finals. Yes, that's right. Now that we've seen our reigning queen, we want to welcome our new queen very, very soon. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, the moment has arrived. I'd like to invite onto the stage Dr. Sean Wong, PBM National Director of Miss World Malaysia, now to announce the results. Woo. Ladies and gentlemen, who will it be? Well, ladies and gentlemen, I have the results in my hands. Wow. All right, while the ladies are coming back on stage, let me now do the honor to thank all our supporting partners and our sponsors. Without your support, this would not have been possible. Please help me to give them the biggest round of applause. The Ministry of Tourism, Culture and Environment Sabah. And we're so glad to have the support of Love KK Vibrant, Sata, and Fantastic G. We also want to thank all our co-presenters, WSG Group, Air World Travel and Tour, The Glam's Academy, Whoa. Riga's Premium Saba. And our major supporting partners, we have got F Tech Financial Group, B Life Technology, Nova Esports, and Hyper Esports, Team Salty, Universal Music in Malaysia, Beam Artists, Sinosia. One Take Makers, B Project, KK Yacht. Kelvin Cheng and Lee Carler Advertising Company. And we want to thank our major sponsors, our official hotel, Sutra Harbor Resorts. Our official event venue partner, Sabar International Convention Center. Our official jewelry partner, Saras Jewels. 
our official broadcast partner, ITE. Remember to download ITE app to watch our reality TV show one week from now. Our official beverage partner, Wine Sellers. Our official event production partner, Soundstag. Our official healthcare partners, LYC Group, LYC NutriHealth, LYC Mother and Child Centre. Our official dental care, Fee Dental, Prime Care Dental Clinic, KL Dental. And our official F&B partners, Crab House, Snacky Snacky. And our chief dance choreographer, BL Dance. Our official coaching partner, Ambacha Academy. Our official fashion designers, Jimmy Couture, Rosie Khan Couture, and Eric Hearn Couture. And our official media partners, 616 Media, Miao in Sabah, MBP FC, Rentax Tejuta, MMP, Breeze, Slay, Yam Cha Time, Hype Pageantry, and Pageant Chic. And our official beneficiary, Palliative Care Association. Ladies and gentlemen, once again, thank you so much to all the supporting partners and our sponsors. And right now, the most exciting moment of tonight. The ladies standing right in front. Well, to do the honors, I would like to now invite Miss Janice Wong and Miss Theresa Tan to be on stage. Miss Janice Wong and Miss Theresa Tan. Miss Janice Wong is the founder of the Glam's Academy. Miss Theresa Tan is the dealer of Rigas Premium Saba. All right. So, would you like to pass the crown and the sash to one of them each? And the fifth princess is Adeline Jane Andrew. No, nope, the other way, the other way. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, we have our fifth princess, Adeline Jane Andrew. Thank you very much. Next, please welcome Mr. Poshin Ng of Sinoja. On stage, please. Thank you so much, Ms. Janice and Mr. Risota. Mr. Poshin Ng of Sinojer and Mr. Eric Go of Fantastic Golden. And the fourth runner up, fourth princess. Would you like to go to the middle? Sinojur has been so supportive of us. And the fourth princess is... Alicia Michelle!
Congratulations. Thank you so much, Mr. Poshinung and Mr. Eric Go. Next, please welcome our uh, very good friends of LYC Healthcare, Mr. Joseph Yo and Mr. KB Lee of LYC Healthcare Bahad. And you have the honours now to give the award to the third princess. And the third princess is Vaishnavi! Congratulations, take a photo. All right, please remain on stage. Please remain on stage right now. We are going to invite all our important VIP guests on stage. So can I have the honours to welcome Mr. Eric Go, Managing Director of Fantastic Golden on stage. Mr. Poshin Ng, Manager in, Singap in Singapore and Malaysia of Sinosure. Ms. Janice Wong. Ms. Theresa Tan. Our dealer principal of Rigas, Premier Sabah. Please welcome also Dr. Sri Winston. And also Melissa, Melissa Wong of WSG Group, please come on stage. And please also welcome Mr. KB Lee, who is on stage, and Mr. Joseph Yeo, and Ms. Angel Chong of LYC. Please join me on stage. Stand at the side because there are going to be a lot of people. And we want to also welcome Miss Wenonita Angang, our Miss World Malaysia 2022. And please welcome Miss World 2022, Miss Carolina Velosca. Miss Adeline Velvet. And Carolina, you would like to join me here? It is such a pleasure to have you on stage and for you to be in Sabah. Would you like to say some words to share your feelings of your stay here in Sabah? Absolutely. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. It's such an honor and pleasure to be back here in Sabai, Kota Kinabalu. I loved it the first time, and it's really sentimental to me when I saw your reigning queen having her entire year, and I was also on the video when she was crowned. 
and now I have a pleasure to be back. It's such a beautiful place, and I'm not only talking about the beautiful scenery, the nature, the culture, but you have the warmest people in the entire world. So we are always very happy to be back in Malaysia. Thank you for hosting me. Thank you, Carolina. And yes, right now, we would like to invite our minister, YB Fung Jinja, Minister of Industrial Development and Entrepreneurship. Please join me on stage. Thank you, Ms. Minister YB Pung. And ladies and gentlemen, please also welcome Dado Sri Navneet Goenka, the founder of Suras Jewels. Suras has been very supportive of us, and uh, tonight the Queen will be wearing the crown of Suras. And the winner will also walk away with 25,000 ringgit worth of jewelry. Thank you, Nadal Sri Nafnit. All right, we have all our supporting partners, our VIP guests on stage. Please give them a big round of applause. And I know it's going to be very difficult to, to take a photo together, but we try. All right, but let me just share how we will do this. When I announce the next winner, she will be the second princess. So we will welcome Minister YB Fung to Sash and uh, we will welcome uh, Miss Angel Chong to give the check and we will welcome uh, Miss Carolina to put on the crown for the, for the second princess all right and then all of us will take a group photo together so ladies and gentlemen the second princess goes to Shu Wen Chai. Yes, Minister YB Fong, please. Mr. Eric Go, would you like to just join in? Miss Angel. All right, for the rest of us, we will stand behind at the side and then we will take a photo together. Ladies and gentlemen, our second princess, Shu Wen Chai. Well, can we invite Melissa Wong to join in the middle as well? Yes, they are our major sponsor. Could you just join in and take the group photo? And I would just want to also be on the side to take a photo together. All right. Let's look in front. Let's take a photo together. Adeline, do you want to stay in the line? Yes, and we take a group photo together. All right, thank you so much, Chai. And now, ladies and gentlemen, Minister YB Fong, would you like to just take a step back so that the two ladies who are remaining will be going into the center. This is the moment that we have all been waiting for. Ladies and gentlemen, who will be Miss World Malaysia 2023? The 
first runner-up will receive a check. Cash prize worth 5,000 ringgit. And all the cash prizes for the top three positions are sponsored by LYC Healthcare. And the winner will walk away with 15,000 ringgit sponsored products and services by our major sponsors, as well as a 25,000 ringgit worth of jewelry by Ceres Jewels. Ladies and gentlemen, Miss World Malaysia 2023 is Sarub Roshi! And the first princess is Natalie Ang, ladies and gentlemen. Please welcome our Minister YB from Jinja. And also please welcome Miss Carolina Veloska and Miss Wenanita Angang and Miss Angel Chong to present the check. Can we welcome Melissa of WSG Group to also join the photo in front? Ladies and gentlemen, she is your first princess, Natalie Ang. Thank you, Natalie. And ladies and gentlemen, our new Miss World Malaysia, who will be representing Malaysia in the World Finals in 2024. Miss Angel, would you like to present the D Walk up check. Miss Melissa, would you like to present the flowers? Present the flowers. And we have Mr. I want Miss Minister YB Fung. Oh, you have presented it. And we have Dato Sri Nafnit Goenka, founder of Ceres Jewels. To present the beautiful jewelry to our new winner. Ladies and gentlemen, Sarup Rashid is your Miss World Malaysia 2023. Congratulations once again. And to all our supporting partners and sponsors, would you like to move to the front? Our supporting partners and our friends, please go to the front and take your photo together. Could we all just move back? Sarup, would you like to move back so that we all can stand in one line here? Yes. Minister YB Fong, would you like to stand? And Miss Carolina, please yes, join us in the photo. Yes. 
Dr. Sri Nafnit. Yes, please join us. And Melissa of WSG, please join us. Ladies and gentlemen, once again, Sarup Roshi is your Miss World Malaysia 2023. Can we just move one step back? Uh, one more step back? So that all the partners can be in. Yes. Alright, can you all just stand to take your group photo one more time? Smile, everyone. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen, your Miss World Malaysia 2023, Sarah Baroshi. She will be representing us to Miss World in 2024. Congratulations once again to our new queen. Ladies and gentlemen, distinguished judges, esteemed guests, and of course, our incredible contestants. As we come to the final moments of this enchanting journey, let us pause to reflect on the radiance of not only external beauty but also the brilliance of purpose that each contestant has shared with us tonight. To all of our remarkable contestants, your journey doesn't end here. It is a spark that will continue to illuminate the path ahead. To everyone who has been a part of this enchanting event, may your spirits be forever lifted by the memory of tonight's brilliance. Once again, my name is Melissa Lin. And my name is Alexis Suen. And, and thank you so much for taking your time up to be here with us today for the grand coronation of our Miss World Malaysia 2023. We hope to see you as well in 2024 as we crown a new winner. And to Saru Brushi, welcome to the Miss World Malaysia Sisterhood! <laughs>